So stage seven of the seven stage BD audit process is client management, Peter. Yeah. Uh, this is all about the end of the, the end of the, the process um, and and ultimately about what client customer experience. Well, it's interesting that if you imagine that people have gone through all those previous six stages and then inevitably, whether you're a professional consultant like an architect or you're an SME family contracting business, um, the, the people that have gone out and found the opportunity, the business development person, and then the bid team could be could be one in the same, but it could be different. But then there's the delivery. And if you haven't briefed um, the delivery team on all facets of what's gone on before, potentially all that great investment that you've made could be mm. put at risk. So there's a big thing to, to be done at the beginning before you, the team starts the job to, to have a briefing to include the business development team, mm. the bid team, to really download not just about the project, but the, what's the client's vision for this project? What's the client's vision full stop for whilst they're in business? What pain points and challenges are they feeling? So it's a far more expansive um, explanation of in, in and around the opportunity, but in, in and around the client. And the important thing is you can't just wait to the end of say a project, you've got to take sense checks along the way. So that could be through, I mean, I think the construction playbook now got things called project scorecards. So you can, mm. so you, you, you know, your performance can be scored as you go along, which has always been a, I think an ambition that's been long held rather than just waiting to do a satisfaction survey at the end of a, of a project, for example. So I think taking those sense checks, having regular strategic meetings with clients. So even when a project is on the go, I would still go and have meetings with the client to talk about the, the, the wider challenges that they're facing. So that project's going, going on yeah. and moving forward, but you have to retain that customer journey. And you also have to get the people that are delivering the project to really understand what's going on and, and, and what's, what's important. Yeah, it's just, again, it's quite a lot to it's quite a lot to, to to cover off there, isn't it? Yes. And 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 who who's whose role who whose role typically would that that fall to, or who would that fall to 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 to, to keep that contact with with or should should fall to to keep the contact with the client? Um, what, yeah. Whilst the project is 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 live. Well, I mean, gen generally speaking, the the delivery team are into interfacing with the client's team at kind of their own peer group level. Um, but in most cases, most SME business will, a, a project director will take a direct interest with, with the senior mm -hmm. person in the client's organization to, to be sense checking what's going on as like independently. Um, but, but also again, to, to talk about the, the client in a, in a, in a wider perspective in terms of the strategic, because things can change mm -hmm. within a month not just during the project, but how the, what the client's facing. So I think it's there's a directorial responsibility. Mm -hmm. And most directors, partners in in SME businesses will tell you that they do that and, and they like to do that. And, and some, depending on the size of the business, are still actually doing some project delivery themselves okay. and want to be involved in projects. Some want to let that go and into the senior team to let them deliver it. So there's a distinction between delivering mm. and and kind of um, someone taking overall responsibility for what I would call the the client relationship. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peter, thanks, thanks for going through the uh, the, the business audit process of seven stages. Uh, if anyone out there is interested, uh, what we're offering is I think is a, is a, is a, is a pre scoping questionnaire which will, will just sort of enable us to gather some information uh, about their respective businesses, and then that will then followed by a what a three ninety minute scoping session. Is that right? That's right. Yes, yeah. we obviously we'd like clients to to come back to us and provide us with some initial details of how their business development activities are faring, um, and then we can pick that uh, that detail up through a, a scoping call of ninety minutes just to flesh that out a bit more, get to a position of understanding, um, and uh, obviously take it to the next stage. Hopefully, which will be a deeper dive uh, into solving some some challenges and uh, making the most of opportunities. Perfect. And, and the importance of the scoping session on other business event audits that you've ranked. I know you've ran, ran quite a few of these audits over the years because uh, it just gives you a flavour for what areas you might end up spending a bit more time on during the, 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 the audit. Is that right? Absolutely. I mean, inevitably, um, businesses are stronger in some areas that, that, than others and, and obviously they, they come to the fore. But it's not just about solving problems. It's about making the most of... Yeah of opportunities and, and the deep dive 
uh, part of the, the sort of third part of the of the, of the sort of BD audit process. It, it could be all seven stages. Yes. It could be two out of the seven. It could be yeah. a, a, any any number. But sometimes you have to make sure you fix those individual pieces to make the rest of it work. Yeah, sure. And 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 the, and the, the point there you make is very valid and and it's probably worth sharing. Uh, reiterating is, is this is a very tailored personalized approach isn't it it's not off a shelf you know you, you will tailor uh tweak your approach to 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 to, to the audit, to the client in, in in my view every single business is is unique even if they do the same discipline yeah. because there are always different nuances um personalities um and and approaches in business so it, it's a very kind of personalized service um, to SME construction businesses. Um, and, and obviously what we're bringing to the table is a huge amount of experience. And obviously I'm a practitioner of all this stuff of being in it for a long, long time and actually advising, working with, you know, sort of hundreds of um, SME consultancy and uh, contracting businesses. So we're drawing upon all that knowledge. And, and we obviously, the other important point to mention is that we, we're keeping ourselves relevant because there's lots of changes going on with the advent of artificial intelligence and sustainability and technology and climate change. So we we also have to kind of take those factors into account when we're advising clients about how they're positioning their activities. Excellent. Thank you, Peter.